Hey everybody, Norm and Mark and Guy King over here. Man, this guy's as good as it gets, and it's true. And I say to a lot of guitar players, oh, these are some of my favorite guitar players, and you guys bust me on it all the time, go, they're all your favorites. I'm telling you, there's two guys that stand alone right now, that's Joe and Guy, for two different types of blues, but, I mean, guys is more like, m most of the guys that play all the voicings, they can't bend a note or they don't bend a note. No. He's got the bending Most thing cool. like Albert King, and he's got the George Benson kind of, uh, you know, chordal stuff, and his voice is killer. And I, I know you guys are going to give me some shit. You go see Guy King. If you don't like Guy King, Norm promises Norm to give, give you your money, money back, okay? <laughs> Your gigs are for free most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Guitar we'll give you 100% back. I'm guitar playing, playing, singing, songs, it's all there. It was Bang. all killer, there. Killer, killer. It's all there. It was great to have you there. It was all there. So, was really great. Uh, you got this crappy old Martin over here. This is a 1928 triple O 45. And Guy um, was playing some cool acoustic stuff. And he's equally adept at acoustic stuff as he is electric. His electric stuff is off the charts as good as it gets. But you, what were you going to do? You, what, what was the tune? I'm going to get away. Since we play. <laughs> Give you some space. Since we play, you know, uh, since we played loud last night a little bit, so I went to the acoustic side this morning to get a little more peace of mind. So, you know? yeah, there you go. So I was asking you about some stuff that's in the store, and you pulled out this... What'd you say, crappy? Old yeah, crappy? he said, you know, what do you got that I could play that's really great? Well, it didn't get much greater than this. Um, this is uh, 1928 and it's a top of the line Martin. Um, anything that you see that has pearl work around the outside on the old Martins is uh, a sign of it being top of the line. It's so, gorgeous and it doesn't, it's like a pound. Yeah, it's, it's featherweight, Brazilian rosewood, spruce top, pyramid bridge, it's the kind. But in the hands of a great guitar player, that always helps. So I was thinking about some old stuff that sometimes I play on my solo set. I usually play it on my electric guitar, but it kind of sounded nice. Let's hear. Once I lived the life of a millionaire Spent all my money, just didn't care Took all my friends for a mighty good time I bought bootleg liquor, champagne and wine Then I began to fall so low Lost all my good friends, didn't have no place to go When I get my hands on a dollar again I'm gonna hold on to it until that old eagle grin. Nobody knows you when you're down and out. When in the pocket there's a not a penny. And as a friend, let me tell you, just don't have any. When you get back on your feet again. Everybody's trying to be your long lost friend You know it's true without any doubt Nobody knows you when you're down and out
This guy is something else. I'm telling you, when he's playing in town, you need to look on his site and find out when he's playing because there's nobody better at what he does than him. His electric playing is killer, but we figured we'd throw a curve at him and get him to play some acoustic <laughs> here, and uh, he does that equally well. And right. that's a nice shirt you have. Yeah, good looking way. shirt over here. If, <laughs> if you want like a guy King T-shirt, where do you get them? It's a new edition. It's a it's a it's a new shirt. Uh, you can get them at live shows, and uh, I'm gonna put it on the site probably, so you can, you'll be able to get it on my site at guyking.net as well. And Guy has been known for playing tellies for a long time, and all of a sudden. It's 335 time and he killed it on that because he also uh, when he plays electric he plays with his thumb yes so uh, very different and it really gets a really warm sound it's different than using a pick yeah it's more uh, some people ask me how I started doing it it was kind of I used to play with a pick but I preferred maybe when I was playing at home the sound of the thumb is nicer it was always nicer to me to my ear so I started just when you first got to Chicago, you played with... I played for the great Willie Kent before he died. And I was playing with a pick, by the way. Uh huh. I started without a pick, then I took it on after seeing that every guitar player mostly was playing with a pick, and then I lost it shortly. And you ended up being his band leader too, right? Yes, I was his uh, mainly lead guitar player, and he kind of, he was getting older. You know, the band were in their 60s, I was in my early 20s, and. He showed me the ropes and had made me band leader. I co-produced his album while I was in the band as well and took care of band members and matters while we were touring and stuff. Well, you know, I mean, I think he kind of groomed Guy to go out on his own and told you what to do and how to, you know, get out there in front. Because when he's up front, um, there's no doubt who's running the show up there. I mean, he really, you know, takes command of the stage. His uh, uh, use of dynamics is tremendous, so check him out, the great Guy King, right here at Norm's Rare Guitars, and you can find him anywhere, check where he's playing, because I promise you, you won't be disappointed.